Koopa. I need to get back out my red Spectro, my Corona searching boy, because he's really good at searching. Give him back to me. Line up. There we go. Now we good. This thing's got a way bigger range. It's like a range of six or something. Yeah, look at that. Much better. Oh, it was a range of four. The other one must have been like a range of two. Maj is the only one that doesn't have an element. She's automatically better. I agree. She's also probably got the best design of the three. Evil waifu material. West, Dark Swamp. All right, let's kill these fools and then try and get some new uh, Dark Spectrobes. Don't. Okay, stop this. I'm just gonna rapid fire this, like, little crystal attack. What are you doing, you stupid idiot? These things have so much HP. Stop, stop. I can't. I, I, I can't. Okay. Okay. Why is this game trash? Like, actually, why? Do I have enough crystals to, like, evolve Hydra? <laughs> to his evolved form? That'd probably help. I'd have a lot more crystals if I could just freaking excavate without having to beat every enemy in the area. Screw off. I am gonna play Spectro of Origins. Spectro of Or Spectro of Origins is way better than this one. But we're gonna get through this one first, and then I have some other games I'm gonna do. So I'll have a small break from uh, Spectro in general. Origins is by far the best one. Gameplay is way more enjoyable. Shouldn't you awaken the Mossapod? Yeah, you're probably right, yeah. I'm gonna, like, do this first, though. <laughs> Pineapple! Oh my goodness, you're right. It's a Mickey Mouse head right here. This was, uh, related to Disney. Yo, you can evolve! Let's go! First fully evolved Spectrobe is one of my favorites. Let's get it. Gildragos! You're so green. You used to be so blue. Well, I love that. Very useful. What is the next Tales of Let's Play? Uh, it's gonna be a little while. I definitely at least have to finish Digimon World DS before I can do it, but... I really want to, uh, I want to go back to one of the oldest Tales games. I want to go back to, like, the first or second Tales game. Quick, take a selfie. Do Legendia or Eternia? Which one are those? Tell me what number that is in the series. Isn't the first one called Tales of Fantasia? I want to go back and play the very first one, because I'm going to play all of them on the channel eventually. Disney originally made decent games. Yeah, this is like a, a Disney thing. From like Disney had some kind of game making company that made Spectrobes, pretty sure. But Spectrobes didn't sell well, and that's why he stopped making it. All right, let's awaken that Mossapod. Whoops, press exit twice by mistake. Thought of playing a Disgea game, Chaos. I've heard of that before. Don't know what they are, so no, not really. Here you go, boys. Dark time. The power of darkness courses through my veins. Woo! He's done it. I don't remember if I hate your evolutions or not. What do we want to name this, chat? It's our first dark spectro. What do we want to call it? Oh, 
Fantasy is the first one, Destiny is the second one, Eternity is the third one. Legendia is after Abyss? Legendia is the ninth in the series? I thought that Hearts and Innocence were uh, 9 and 11, weren't they? I'm gonna look it up while chat gives names and chat. Let me see here. Tales of Main Series. It took me a second to get a hold of my phone. All right. Here we go, Wikipedia. Give me the rundown. Where's Where's the timeline? Here's the titles. All right, let's see here. Fantasia was first in 95. That's when I was born. It's like I was made for this series. Then Destiny, then Eternia, then Destiny 2 is the fourth in the series, and then I know that Symphonia is the fifth. Rebirth is the sixth. Legendia is the seventh. It comes before Abyss. And then Innocence is nine, and Hearts is eleven, like I thought. Okay, yeah. I want to go back and play Tales of Fantasia. That's the next one I'm probably doing. No, Legendia isn't after Abyss. Legendia is before Abyss. Abyss is the 8th in the series, Legend Dia is the 7th, but they came out in the same year, which is surprising. And then Tales of Hearts is the 11th in the series, and then Innocence is the 9th. I knew that, I couldn't remember which was which, but I knew Innocence and Hearts were the 9th and the 11th, I just didn't know which was which. But I, I have not played, the oldest Tales game I played was Symphonia, which is the 5th in the series. I want to go back and play Fantasia, like, two of the first four. So probably Fantasia and then Destiny. So that's next on the list. Yo, I just saw Diamond Head in chat. Great, great choice for a name. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit, but I'd totally go for that. Obsidian won't fit either. This one turns into a cross between Mega Galgamon and a bug. I don't know how I feel about this. You did like this line, it becomes a giant robot at the end. That does sound like something I like, you're right. Onyx? Decent enough name that will actually fit, so I'm gonna go with Onyx. No, go back. No! The stupid keyboard. There we go. But uh, I don't plan to play it anytime soon. Destiny 2 is Japanese only. That's really stupid. Hopefully I can find a fan translation for it. Or to be honest, it might be like one of the first games I ever play that's just straight up Japanese because I'm going to play every Tales of game. Destiny 2 is old and Tales is a pretty popular series. Surely by now someone has fan translated at least some of it or something. Ganon was also a good name choice. No, 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 not lineup. Back, back to incubators. What am I doing? Put in my dark boy. And you are already ready to evolve. You're already level 25. Calm down. Already good to evolve because I got the hundo on you. Let's go. All right, yeah. Same robo looks pretty. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I like this. Level 34, that's 9 levels away, 8 crystals, and 12 battles. These are all doable achievements. So I'm going to go ahead and boost you a little bit with uh, this Aurorium I have left. Why do I have so many Aurorium S's that I'm not using? Oh, I should do, uh, I should use these probably. Let's go. Eat up. Eat it all, you little freak. I think that's eight right there, or at least close to eight. That puts you up at level 27. And what level did you need to get to your final form? Level 34. All right, that's not too bad. You need 12 battles anyways. We'll worry about getting you to ultimate later. You're already high level enough. Now I just need to put you in the party. I think there was a fan translation for Destiny 2, but only for the menu. That really sucks, but if that's what I gotta deal with, that's what I gotta deal with. 
have to play SMT Nocturne? You're the second person to tell me that? And, uh, I didn't tell this person that when they told me, because they told me when I was at the convention, actually, because we were talking about Persona stuff, because me and him both dressed up as Joker. But, uh, I'll tell you this, so that you don't get your hopes up. I'm literally never playing an SMT game. Like, I'm never gonna play a Shin Megami Tensei game. I'm gonna finish Tokyo Mirage Sessions, and then I'm gonna play, like, Persona games, and that's it. I'm not playing any other Atlas stuff. Do you ever, or have you ever played other Shin Megami Tensei games other than Persona? I just saw that question, and I answered it before even reading it, by mistake. No, I'm not gonna play any other Shin Megami Tensei questions, or games. I'm just gonna play the, I'm gonna finish Tokyo Mirage Sessions, and, uh... I dropped my phone for a second there. And then I'm gonna play Persona games, and that's it. Digimon World redigitized with Japanese only, but had a fan translation? Yes, I'm gonna play that eventually. There are guides for all the Tales Japanese games on GameFAQs. That's what I'll have to use then. How many of the main series Tales... How many of the main series uh, Tales games are Japanese only, other than Destiny 2? How many of them are only Japanese? Of the main series. I don't care about the spin-offs. I just want to know the main series games. The main, like, 16 with Arise is going to be the 17th one. No, I don't play Castlevania games, no. All right, where do I need to go? Oh, I need to be on dark most. What am I doing? Get, get off the thing. What are you doing, stupid? Four of them? Which four? Oh, well, Adrian says three. Is it three or four? Max's his level is so high, but his HP is so low. Yeah, the Tales of series has spinoffs. Like, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, that's not a main series game. That's a spinoff game. There are, like, five or six spinoffs, I think. Let's do that. Rebirth, Destiny 1 Remake, Innocence and Hearts. You say Destiny 1 Remake. Is the original Destiny in English? Because I'll just play that. I'll play whichever one is in English. Alright, I know Innocence has a... I remember reading before that that one is, um... Japanese only, but it's got a fan translation. I'm pretty sure Innocence does. Hopefully the other two do as well. But I'll just play the original Destiny. No, move, you stupid idiot. I'll hear you. These things are nightmarish. Use this. I need damage fast. The original is PS1. I can play it on the EPS. Oh, I love that. I can play it on the, uh... I have an emulator for the PS1 I played Digimon World 3 on. So I can just do that easy. So that's not a problem. I'll just play the original English version. Get him again. Remake is PS2. Yeah, I'll just play the PS1 version then if the PS2 version is only in Japanese. Easy solution. All right, that's fixed. Speaking of spin-offs, case, will we ever stream Pokemon Pinball or the Pokemon TCG video game? No. <laughs> Actually, like, zero chance. Ah, uh, these stupid things. What does your attack do? Oh, you, you shoot. Okay. It's a little less easy to, like, stun lock enemies like this, but whatever. Let me hit you. There, get him, get him with this before my dude dies. I need this damage. I love this weird, like, bloody lava attack. This laser blast takes a lot longer to charge up attacks, it seems like. Charge up the bar, I mean. Keep getting him, keep getting him, keep getting him. We got him on the ropes. Oh, he's dead. Perfect. Lock presses X to doubt. <laughs> I'm never playing Digimon World 3 again. Do you know how many comments I get, like, weekly of people just saying, Oh, why'd you play this game? All you do is complain about it. I complain about it. The game sucked. Get over it. 
I'm never playing that game again. Fanbase for it is beyond annoying. So many people who are just up their own butt with nostalgia for the game to look up all of the different, uh... All of the different, um... All of the different playthroughs they can find on YouTube and then complain because no one loves it as much as they do. Any hopes for Digimon Survive, no matter how unlikely? My only real hope for Digimon Survive is that, like, Megidramon and Alphamon are both in the game. Since they said they're focusing less on how many Digimon are in the game and focusing more on, like, the story and all. Which I don't mind, necessarily, but I just, uh... Because that's how Digimon has always been. And it's a different kind of game, but, like, I guess. But I'd prefer if there were more in it. It's not quite the same as Pokemon, where it's, like, expected for all of them to be in there. Digimon has always been a pick-and-choose kind of series, but I would prefer just having all of them. So my only hope is, is for Survive is to just have as many Digimon as it plausibly can. Even though that's not where they're going with, with this game. Why would you play this game and all you do is complain about it? They know you. Yes, I guess not, True. I guess, I guess not. Guess words. Guess okay, so what do you think the odds are of getting Gen 8 Deltamons? Zero. Literally zero. They're not even adding in all of the normal Mons. They're not going to make more Deltamons. See, Mighty Mage is of the good opinion. I am right. Digimon World 3 was pretty bad, but a bunch of people played it when they were like four, and so now they think it's great. And they get mad when other people don't love it as much as they do and point out the flaws in it. No, lock on, you idiot. Why would you not just lock on to the other mod when I'm... Whatever. Alright, Cannon Boy here is pretty sick. I like the Masapod. Or same pod, whatever it is. I think it's normally... Am I going to be able to revive you before I kill him? Nope, that's really stupid. I do hope Digimon Survive has a really good Digivolution system. Thought of playing the new Dragon Ball game? I just saw that uh, comment way up in the feed. No, not at all. I'm kind of done with Dragon Ball games. Everything is always... I'm kind of done with Dragon Ball because everything Dragon Ball is like focused around Super nowadays and I don't like Super. So I don't mess with any of it. What's your B attack? Oh, that's... Oh my word, that's sick. I love that a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. I'm gonna kill you before I can get him back up again, aren't I? Dang it, shouldn't use the B attack, whatever. You can push for me to play a Dragon Quest game as much as you want, you'll just get timed out, because I'm not playing a Dragon Quest game. Watch Digivolution be locked behind story. Depending on how they do it, that could be fine, but it depends on how they do it. Precisely. Get away. Yo, Onyx is OP. I love him. I would like to pledge to protect with my life. I want to revive uh, Reason Pot at the right time to get him some experience. I did not mean to do the dash there, but I did, so there you go. Revive, and goodbye. Easy. Have you partnered with an Agumon in the story, right? I think so. For Digimon Survive, I think some Digivolutions depend on decisions made in the story. It's going to really depend heavily on how they decide to do it, but if I can be a dick in that game and get my uh, Agumon to become Skull Greymon, I'm all the way in. I'm super down. Especially if I can get a Geomon and be a dick and make it a Megidramon. Then I'm beyond it. So if they if they do it well, it could be good, is all I'm saying. Get away from me. Get away. Die faster. Why don't I just put in Go Dragos? I don't know. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. One more hit to death. Get my boy back up. 
There we go. Do, do, do. Karma, hello, welcome to stream. How you doing? I want to spend a week grinding my Agamon to Mega against the tutorial fight. Why? <laughs> For what possible purpose? No wonder I named that uh, Regazelle ugly. It sucks. Keeps failing repeatedly. I want to get this EXP though. To become Rye Drake eventually. Get back. No, hit him. There we go. Nice. You're as good as done, buddy. Revive? No, I pressed Y, but it didn't revive. Screw off. Skip World 1, play World 3. I played World 3. It sucks. It's not that bad, but it's not very good. I'm going to play World 1 next and then play World 2 because I was told World 2 is a sequel. Oh, you mean skip 1 and play 2? No, I'm going to play 1 first because I was told they're related to each other in some way story-wise. Way. Let's try and actually revive my Spectrobe correctly this time, hopefully. What the heck? Just pressing A but not attacking? Get up this time, thank you. There we go. I know World 2 is a dungeon crawler, I've already been told. But I'm gonna, like, my channel loves Digimon, so I'm gonna play, like, every Digimon game. There we go, finally. Hi there, Magical Portal. I don't want to go in you right now, because if I do and then come out, it'll reset the thing and be annoying. Oh, I need the vacuum for this, don't I? What a load of annoying garbage. I loved mining so much in the first game. Why'd they have to ruin it? There's like practically 0% chance I get the hundo on this. Whatever, come on, just give it to me. There's no way I'm getting the hundo on this. It takes so long. Pahapod, whatever that is. In the most recent Digimon World game, have the main protagonist from one of the first World games? Yes, the main character of the first Digimon World game is a character that helps you in Digimon World Next Order. This is what I was told. Couldn't go through the portal anyways, you need a flash child to get through it? Oh, okay. Makes my life easier. Holy cow, this is annoying. Oh, oh, oh. Careful, yeah. Get away! This stuff re- like, sinks back in so fast! Come on. Excited for when you eventually play Dawn? I played, like- why do people want to see Dawn so bad? I love Dawn. It's a good game, but I played Dusk already. They're like the same game. So many people are telling me, like, just play Dawn already. Play Dawn already. I'm like, you don't want to see me play the many other different kinds of Digimon games? Ask me to play a version difference of a game I've already done on the channel. reminds me of the fossil minigame in Pokemon Platinum. This specific area is much worse. I liked the digging stuff in uh, Platinum, though. Come on, I want more fossils. I don't want, no, I want fossils. Come on. Where are the fossils? 
I did play Digimon Masters online. It got boring very fast. Exactly, Shroom knows. Fourth gen underground mining stuff was fantastic. You can press L to open up the thing. Oh, it does. Look at that. Thank you. Wait a minute. Is this the... I don't need a Sanbu pod. Really. This, like, isn't going to help me at all. I want a Corona. Is there a Corona Dark Spectrobe I can get, chat? Or does that just not exist? Is that not a thing? Has Marsmon been a game outside of Digimon World 3? I don't think so. At least I haven't seen it. The main problem with Digimon Masters for me wasn't just, like, getting... I know a lot of people have trouble, like, getting, uh... Getting Digimon to actually hatch and getting to use them, but, like... The biggest problem for me with Digimon Masters is that the combat is so incredibly boring. It's so tedious and just becomes so... Like, the gameplay loop in it is very, very boring and not interesting at all, and that ruins it. Do you want in chat answer me if there was a Corona uh, Dark Spectrobe I could get anytime soon? Stop giving me Samu Pod! need a Corona one. Maybe I, even though, like, Riza is already level 24, maybe I could just replace Riza with the dark version of it and then get another normal Corona Spectro to use. You can get Mooka Pod. That's what I have on my list. What is the Mooka Pod? Is that one that I've seen before or one that I haven't seen? Is it trash? hate mining in this game. Why do they have to make mining bad? Why did they have to make mining bad? Thank you. I played one Digimon Rumble game when I was much younger. I barely remember anything about it. Where are all the fossils? I don't want... I don't even want to bother with, uh... Cubes in this horrible area. Come on, there you go. What have we got? Oh my goodness, it's been like four Sambu Pod in a row. Screw off. Let's continue on. Oh, there are no, uh, no enemies here. I like that a lot. Someone give me, uh... Someone give me uptime in chat, please. Come here. Come on, scan. This thing has trouble scanning sometimes. In the Digimon games other than Masters have Yule Force Vigimon? Both Cyber Sleuths, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my goodness, it's just always Samu Pod. There's also Rudapod and Paha Pod. Or Paha Pod. Rudapod is probably the Daru Pod. Are they in this area? Like, am I gonna find them? Or are they on a different planet? Cause like, I want something soon. I already got that. I think that's the dark version of Spiken. I definitely don't need a dark uh, Aurora one cause I got Onyx here and I'm definitely using him long-term cause he's got a blasty move and I love it. Nope. But yeah, both of the both of the Cyber Sleuth games had Yo Force Vidramon. Was Yo Force Vidramon in Next Order? I think he was. I can't remember. 
I'm not even bothering for this. 